Uh, fast forward to January 1997 from that terrible news in May 1991 and that was the point that you really came to believe that a, a corner had been turned that due to these amazing new combination drug therapies Jay would be able to live. Um, having expected for a long time maybe in those darker moments that this was still a death sentence uh, and you have extracts from your diary where you, where you talk about that. How did that moment feel in January uh, 1997? There was a small degree of scepticism, to be honest, because there had been a lot of other drugs that had come up that had made us feel... I mean, there was a fear that it was a full storm. Mm. But as time went on, it became clear that it wasn't a full storm and that actually Jeremy would survive and as he has survived. I think it's a moment when you feel kind of, feel reborn to be honest. You know, it's like your life is over and then suddenly it's not over. <laughs> and I think what we felt was a combination of incredible gratitude and also a very, very deep-seated sadness about all the people we loved who hadn't been as fortunate as we were and who had died.